Hi everyone, it's Michael and I'm going to be showing you how to get this beautiful pink wonderland of an eyeshadow look. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. Alright, so as you can see, I already have my base done and my brows done. My brows change on the daily, but this is how I'm doing them today. Alright, so let's get started. So I'm going to be taking this Scott Barnes brush in 62. Um, which is just a really good fluffy blending brush and we're going to go into that top middle shade in that Pat McGrath palette and we are going to focus this right on the inner half of our crease and I'm going to bring it up to my brow all right now that that is on we are going to go in with that slightly darker shade in the bottom left and I'm going to disperse that evenly splitting the one dip into the pan on both sides and then kind of stop where my eyebrow ends. All right, now that that's on, I'm going to be taking that top shade and going and doing the same thing to my lower lash line, but keeping it real tight. I'm only going to go halfway. And I'm going to be taking one of these kind of brushes this is the fenty beauty double-sided one but i'm going to be taking this little guy so i can be precise then going back into that darker shade and doing the outer part connecting it right up to that same shade on the top i'm just making sure everything is looking seamless trying to keep it pointed all right and i really needed a light baby pink so i'm going in with this color pop Five Star Island palette. It's like the Animal Crossing collab from a little bit ago. Super cute. We're going in with that top shade on the right. And then taking a fluffy brush. This is the Sephora number 38. I'm going to dip into that. And then kind of buff under my eye. Kind of blending those two shades together. And then going up. That'll kind of marry everything together. All right, so it's really cute, but now we are going to go in with the Anastasia Norvina palette, the first one, and we are going to go in with shade number B1, which is right up here. I'm going to be going in with that same fluffy brush we just used and run that on the outer part of my crease. This will kind of, you know, bring everything to like a punchy place. Everything will be a little bit more electrified that makes any sense and then I'm just going to bring that in and diffuse it the farther in I get in my crease I'm actually going to switch to this brush so I can really pack it on the lid again keeping it at the ends of the eye the last third and then just kind of take a second and observe and see what needs to be evened out all right, we're getting there, we're getting there. I'm gonna be taking that same Fenty brush um, and going in with now A5 from that same palette and taking that on the very inner, I wanna say like almost like the fifth of the eye. I know we don't usually do fifths, but just keeping it right there by the inner corner and then diffusing it out. So you can go in with the shimmer on the inner half of the lid, but I'm actually going to take my blush and just kind of pack that on the inner half instead of doing a shimmer. And this will kind of keep everything on your face, you know, cohesive. And I'm just going in with like another packing brush. All right, so that is the eyeshadow all complete. We are going to go in with mascara now. I am going to be using the Rare Beauty Mascara. This has been my go-to one for the past like two months and I just can't get enough of it. So I'm just going in and if you bump your eyeshadow, it's okay. Just let it dry for a couple minutes and then you can go in with a Q-tip and remove the little marks. All right, while the mascara is drying, I'm gonna go in with a rose gold uh, eyeliner. This is from House Labs before the relaunch. And I'm gonna just put this on the inner part of my waterline, right by the inner corner. All right, so now that our mascara is on, we're gonna go in with some falsies. And today I'm using my brand new lashes I just bought, which is the Everyday Miami. I love the regular Miamis. 
even the Miami lights, but we are going in with these ones. I'm excited to try them because Miami's are just like go-to lashes. They're just so good from Lily Lashes. And Lily Lashes are the only lashes that I really wear. So very excited. So I've already cut them just to save some time, but now we're going to go in. I'm going to be using Duo Lash Glue. This is just the white one uh, like that goes clear. All right, so I'm putting the glue on. Just a thin, even layer. And I'm going to wait about a minute for that glue to get tacky. Cute, cute. There's one. While that's drying, I'm going to make sure that my little mole is defined. I love doing that. So both lashes are on. I'm just going to take this eyeliner. This is the Old House Labs <laughs> liquid liner. I'm just going to bring a line from the end of the lash band to my inner corner really thinly. All right, so all that's left are the lips. I'm gonna be going in with this Old House Labs lip liner. This is in the shade Rain. Um, You might still be able to get this on Amazon, not sure at the time of this video, but I'm gonna go in. It's just like this beautiful kinda fuchsia color. All right, and we're just gonna feather it in just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury right in the center. And then to finish it all off, we're going to go in with the Trixie Cosmetics Scarlet Letter Lip Gloss, which is just like a sheer red gloss. And there we go. That is our beautiful, all pink, Valentine's Day kind of look. I love this look. I love doing like a one color um, kind of look. So beautiful and it's so simple, but you can just like really make an impact with it. And I just can't stop looking at myself in the mirror. Oh my God, I just love it. Well, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more of my face. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.